What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today you guys want an update on this Allison 10 speed uh, Well, so do I and I'm gonna update you guys. I've been driving it now for a while uh, day night different temperatures hot cold um, freeway, you know around town city and well I Gotta say guys um, a little strange Not really that impressed by it uh, let's let's get in the truck, go drive it, and I will uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. First of all, before we get in this thing, what in the heck is this ticking? Listen. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's like going back and forth, tick 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 tick. It's got a weird ticking, the famous Duramax tick. Also, one thing that's really annoying about this truck, which I don't know why it does it, it does it sometimes, uh, it does it in certain gears. Listen to this thing. You hear this vibrating? Or it's down here, listen. This thing vibrates. And then when you put it in drive, it goes away then comes back. Now if you put it in reverse, gone. Nothing. See? So weird. Reverse, no vibrating. Drive, vibrates. Not as loud. Neutral. Now she's screaming. I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know what it is. But old Duramax sounds like, I don't know, she's falling apart already? Or got to take it to the dealer and have them figure that out. Now, also, I've gotten some DMs from you guys that have purchased this uh, Denali. And a lot of you guys say, Eddie, when I'm in drive, my old Denali, when I used to let go of the brake like this, the truck would move. You can tell the truck is barely creeping. But now, what you guys don't realize is these trucks start off in second gear. So when you apply the brake, go here, see that? How's this L2? Put it in first, then. Uh, do the same thing let go of the brake and look Now this thing it's climbing up my driveway So the reason why you, you guys are thinking oh it doesn't even roll it's no it does You just have to put it in first the truck starts you out in second All right guys, so let's talk a little bit about this 10 speed. Well number one this 10 speed is very very smooth um, This truck has a lot of torque by all means this truck is not a slow truck some of you guys asked me, what did they change on this uh, L5P? Uh, all the research I've done, I didn't see anything change, except I think they said the cooling, they put a bigger radiator, bigger fan. Uh, I believe there's one more thing, but that was it. They didn't really change uh, much. It's pretty much motor-wise identical, different transmission, and, uh, well, I guess worse interior. But now, 10 speed, you figure this thing would do amazing in fuel mileage. Well, to be honest with you guys, it does not do that great. So, even being this is a 10 speed, and I mean, I'm in 10th gear, uh, my average, as you get, and I went a whole tank, I just filled the tank up right now, and my average has been about 16 miles per gallon. Now, my Cummins, before I tuned it and did all the goodies to it, if you guys remember the video when I took it to Big Bear, uh, I was getting, I think, and I even calculated it, did the uh, divide of the miles by gallon. I got like 21 miles per gallon. That's stock to stock, comparing both trucks, bone stock, stock stock. So for this being a 10 speed, supposedly they did it for fuel mileage and for pulling. I can't say pulling yet uh, how it is because I haven't pulled, but for mileage, I'm calling BS on it because clearly the best this thing had is 19.7. Well, if you got four more gears than me, I would expect you to have a lot better fuel mileage. Now, RPM. So, RPM on this truck, if you're doing 80 miles an hour, there you go, I'll do it for you and you guys can see the RPM. So we are at, come on, all right, 80 miles an hour. So at 80 miles an hour, this thing is at 1,700 RPMs. At 80 miles an hour in the Cummins, I am at 1,900. RPM. So there is a 200 RPM difference. Uh, this also gear ratio in this truck is a 342. The gear ratio in the Cummins is a 373. So 
Uh, not, you know, not much of a difference. 200 RPM difference there. Drivability, like I said, this thing is very, very smooth. You can't even feel this thing shifting. Now, another thing I, I don't know, I mean, you don't, I'm not gonna say don't like, but it's kind of frustrating is, number one, you can't see what gear you're in. And if you do want to see what gear you're in, uh, you know, people say, oh, just push this up, down, up, down. Well, it doesn't do anything. You actually physically have to put it in the L mode, but when you, sorry guys, my, I'm shaking over here. This truck, that's another thing. This truck is not smooth at all. Um, I, don't, I don't know, maybe if it's just got a, oh, hey, ew. It's got to break in or something, the suspension or shocks. I mean, we got, I got 600 miles on the thing, um, but it's not, uh, it's not a smooth, smooth truck as I thought it would be. If you want to see what gear you're in, you have to go to L. Now, when I do put it in L, this thing is going to go and drop all the way to seventh gear. You see, RPM drops, goes to seventh. So now you can shift eighth, ninth, and tenth. There you go. So that's, you know, the only way you can really see what gear you're in if it's in L mode. Now, another thing I noticed, now you see I just accelerated and it shifted. Well, this thing still says 10th. So you have real no ways of, I guess, knowing what gear you're in unless you physically yourself shift it. Um, but another thing, what I uh, something I dislike about this is when you are coming like up a little hill like this, this thing cannot decide what gear it wants to be in. Uh, and then when you accelerate a little bit, it drops down like two gears. And then, you know, it starts climbing. And then, you know, you slow down, then you accelerate a little bit, boom, it drops down even more. So, you know, I don't know if this 10 speed is all hyped up uh, as everybody says it is, but again, we have not pulled anything yet, so we cannot say, you know, it doesn't pull good. Now, when it comes to pulling, I would assume that this thing should pull the big ding ding amazing. And because the seventh gear is its one-to-one -one gear, pretty much, you know, where the motor transmission is matched perfect, uh, this thing should tow the ding ding in seventh gear. I mean, shit, you would assume at freaking 80 miles an hour or something if you got all that extra gear. I mean, usually on, on the six-speed Allison, it is um, fourth gear is the one-to-one -one, uh, gear. This is seventh, so this thing should... Man, this... Look at this. Uh, it's not very, uh, very smooth in here. But this thing should pull amazing, so... Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Is it worth switching out the 10-speed? Or is it worth sw switching trucks to get this 10-speed? Uh, nobody knows yet. We will find out, and well, I will uh, update you guys and let you know. Now, on another note, uh, I will say the transmission is staying cool. So, Allison is known for that, having a cool transmission. This thing, I haven't seen it go past 150 yet. So, it's still staying cool. Uh, the def, you know, it's got a def gauge. It's there, I mean, unfortunately, but there's your def gauge. Now, how many miles am I going to get on one tank? So this thing says I can get 500 as of right now, 569 miles on one tank. Uh, the Cummins, when I was driving it, said I can get 579 on one tank. This has a 36 gallon tank. My Cummins has a 31 gallon tank. So maybe the fuel mileage will get better uh, once maybe this is broken in. Um, but you know, again, I was when I was driving my Cummins, it had 400, 500 miles on it when I took it to Big Bear, and I was getting over 21 miles per gallon. This thing, I mean, I am barely on the throttle. So look at this. When I I, I just touched the throttle right now. I mean, just to you know, I mean, look, I got people cutting me off. Just trying to get going in traffic. It's in 10th gear at 1500 RPM, 65 miles an hour, and look at the the uh, average miles per gallon reading here. Now, when I let go of it, it goes all the way up. But as soon as I touch it, just a hair, it goes pretty much right back to that 15. So, if you guys are looking for this thing for fuel mileage, um, you know, this 10 speed for fuel mileage, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to, you know, give you what you want. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it does with towing. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.